promotional consideration was, is provided by the Jack Off T and Catherine Deceased Foundation. Close captioning provided by GT's Synergy Kombucha. 100% kombucha or 95% with fruit juice. Available at your Whole Foods Market. The Auntie Brian Show was filmed in front of an ultra-terrestrial, ultra-dimensional audience. Oh, and thank you, thank you, my dears. This is another episode of the Auntie Brian Show, and 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 this show tonight is uh, especially close to my heart. And we have a really good show with you, and it which is with my spirit guide, um, the one and only Kimmy Kwachukwe, whom I call Kim. So, Hello, my name is Auntie Brian, and um, I am here uh, today. I'm proud, very happy to present an interview with the alien, and uh, or the star people, or the indigo child, or the uh, crystal seed, the crystals, and all the people who feel a little bit weird and out there. But I am finally with, and I'm very happy to say, um, an actual um, alien. The alien is called, her name, or hit, uh, it's not a him or he, it's it, what we refer in Wicca as a fairy, but an ultra-dimensional, interdimensional being, and who lives among us, and whom I have always, well, since I was 12 or 13, been completely exposed and completely uh, tutored by. And today we are talking to Kime Kwachikwe my personal, wonderful, spiritual guide, and my personal friend, and who is extraterrestrial and ultra-terrestrial, as well as interdimensional and ultra-dimensional. And, you know, these concepts are now being brought up in our popular culture for a good reason. And so I think this interview is, is definitely, it's time is due. So hi, I'd like to, I'd like to first say uh, thank you for joining us today, um, Kimmy Kwachikwe, or as I call it, Kim. Um, when uh, you know, some people might find that you know you're strange because it's just the way you look or, or the way you talk, and you actually do not use words. I want to let that be known right now. You actually don't use words. You use telepathy, and what I'm trying to get towards the audience watching this right now is, you know, some people might like look at it and go, well, why doesn't their lips move or whatever? And I'm, I just want to let people know that right from the beginning, they, they might find it kind of strange that you're just, you know, sitting there and communicating with me telepathically. So how would you come across, um, uh, first of all, welcome to Welcome here to our forum. Um, how would you uh, go across, to, uh, go come, come to explain that to um, my fellow human beings? And, and you are as well a human being, we must say that. And so, go ahead. Well, I'm glad you asked me that, Brian, because, um, yeah, a lot of times people find that when you mention anything metaphysical or uh, even psychic, uh, that it is out there, it is tabloid, it is National Enquirer. Um, one of the things that I'm really trying to get around to people is that, um, yes, there are aliens living among you and us, because I am us now, you know, but um, there's nothing to fear. We're not here to take over the world. We're here to merge and blend in with the culture. And I think what's going to happen as you move along in, 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 in the future, we're going to just see people either accept it or they don't. And if they don't, then they're not inclusive. So therefore, they will be eliminated, not us. I mean, they will be eliminated by their own greed or their own um, per personal feelings, you know. And discrimination goes across the board, even to ultra-dimensional and ultra-terrestrial creatures. So I, I guess what uh, I'm trying to say is, you know, some of us don't communicate um, with our voice. A lot of times we just communicate with our minds telepathically. And so uh, I think as we go on and we're in, into this beautiful Aquarian age that we're in right now, there are some people that they'll either be there or they're not, or they'll be here or they're not. And, 
how I like to see it, and uh, I think yeah, how you like to see it, is um, we're being here now, and being here now is, is really the message of the uh, 22nd century, and that is to be here now.